That's Greg, WJ6F. Today's video, we're gonna revisit the BTEC UV Pro, and this time we're gonna go over the firmware updates. Buffing Tech has made it really easy to update the firmware in the UV Pro. First thing you wanna do is go to the little blue sprocket or gear, then down here at the bottom, you see it says firmware version 0.7.4. I'm going to click on that. And it's going to tell you what all has been changed and updated. And if you have an issue when you first update it, follow these directions. Hit the download here at the bottom. And it's going to do its thing. Now we're going to start the update. Okay, hopefully this will all reset as it should. Otherwise, if not, we'll use those directions we saw at the bottom. Okay, now it says update complete. Now let's go in and see if we are properly updated. And see now we're at 0 0.7.6. Okay, for the 0 0.7.6 update, here's what you get. It optimized receiving sensitivity. Teammate information list supports up to 30 historical records. Three audio selection interface supports digital button jump. Multiple numbers can be entered continuously within one second. I'm assuming that's what the 1S is. Improve APRS configuration. When sending APRS messages, a colon can be used to separate the recipient and the message content. Added new programmable button functions, toggle, monitor, pairing, dual channel, main channel, switch, toggle dual channel, send location. Add DTMF sending option in signaling menu. Add frequency sync, rapid scan. Real quick, I wanted to touch on the NOAA settings on here. Using the app, just go to the gear and go to general settings and you'll see weather alert on the top and weather channel. On the weather alert, you can either disable it, monitor a weather channel, or it'll send you an alert if there's an event in your area. The weather channel part, that just shows you the different frequencies and you pick whichever one is best for your location. Now to make the adjustments on the radio, click the green button, scroll down till it says NOAA, click the green button again, that takes you in there and you have weather scan, you can scan the different channels, pick a weather channel. I have the weather alert checked off that way if something happens in my area, which probably not likely in Southern California, then you can monitor a weather channel and once it's all done, Hit return and back back out. I really like the fact that BTEC has made updating firmware so incredibly easy on this radio. It's pretty much the same steps that you have if you're using the GMRS Pro as well. I really appreciate you taking the time to watch this video. If you have any comments, questions, or concerns, please leave them in the comment section below. If you haven't done so already, please subscribe and don't forget to click on the bell so you'll be notified each time I upload a video. If you'd like to help support the channel, there is a Patreon link in the description area. And while you're here, why don't you check out one of these other videos? And again, thanks for watching.